Um, so, all right. What? Quora question. I've been asked this more than once, and I always just dismiss it. And John said, why don't you just answer it once and for all, honestly. The question, he's right. The question that I get asked is, um, what is the process of con making contact with those from the other side, right? What is the process? What is the frequency, Kenneth? Uh, there, for me, there really is no process that I could describe. Mm-hmm. When did you first, I, I first realized that I was being contacted by the other side uh, long ago. And the fact is they just, it becomes, it's just a conversation that begins quite naturally. Um, I didn't, I, I don't say, oh, I, I'm going to, but somebody uh, come in, I'm speaking to you now. Uh, John, uh, do you hear me? Well, uh, can I, be, uh, may I beg to differ on that just slightly? Yeah, sure, John, go ahead. Um, sometimes she will, I, I'll be busy with somebody over here, right? And sometimes she'll say, if she doesn't sense me with my full attention on her, which is rarely, but uh, sometimes I'll be talking to Bowie or somebody, right? And she'll say, when you got, John, John, when you got a minute. Right, right. It, but I don't really say it that way. I just say, John, I, I'm just, I'd like, I'll just like, I'll just send him a quick telepathic, I, I'm, you know, touch base with me, honey. I need you. I need your support. I need something from you, right, you know, whenever. Right. And then I'm just lickety split right there. It doesn't take anything to get there. Right. Cause I'm always, I'm just like right here. I'm right with my baby. Right. So, uh, there was from, so for me, the only thing I could say, if you want to say process, I spent years in prayer and meditation and learning how to use my intuition and, uh, and become more psychic through, working with different forms of divination, but I never set out to contact the other side. Right. No, she didn't. She was very dicey about that. Yeah. I was like, I, I didn't, I didn't go out of my way to, to, to be, uh, buddying up with spirits from the other side, including John. Yeah. I, I wished she would. I was like, why isn't she, you know, other people are, are doing, are trying to contact me all the time or claiming that they do. She doesn't even care. Well, it's not that I didn't care, but um, nothing about uh, trying to contact cr the other side by, by like, seance or anything. None of that feels natural to me. Mm -hmm. It doesn't feel natural. It's not something I, and, and it's not something I need to do. The other side makes itself available to me quite readily whenever I need to talk to them, which is often. And John is my twin flame. So uh, that's that. He's uh, he's officially on the other side and he is a he's like my main spirit guide. But I have other spirit guides, Teresa, Vanessa. I don't talk about them too much. They've been with me for from the very beginning. Mother Sylvia Brown is a spirit guide of mine. She claims that I'm a spirit guide of hers from another lifetime many eons ago. So it kind of goes around and around and and um and it's like one big metaphysical uh, uh gumbo, right, John? Yeah. Well put. Hi Sylvia. Hey. I would add one more thing. Right. Your connection with animals and nature has made you particularly susceptible to your connection with all spirits on the other side and in other dimensions, including the third dimension, the one that you're residing in presently. Right. You're, Mike, okay, so Sylvia Brown is just letting you know, connection with animals and nature will hone your ability to make contact with the other side. And my best advice that I can give is stop looking for a process. Stop look because everybody's uh, experience is unique to how they approach spirituality. 
but prayer and meditation and again communing with nature and animals and providing uh service and helping others and uh in my case i do i do did and do a lot of animal adoption and caregiving and um but you can become a person caregiver uh you can become a volunteer somewhere and that will start opening up your channels to the divine because the other side is the divine right beautifully put really beautiful lena and now you need to take a little rest but yeah that was a good uh post this video as your instructional all right so and that's the deal and that's the story i love you baby i love you i love you too praise be god and mother i hope i make you proud that's all i want <laughs> you too